I know a lot of y'all fasting and praying, you holding this church, you Baptist church, you Presbyterian church, you Methodist church, you Protestant. A lot of y'all are following your pastor, the false, the pastor that calls y'all to scatter. Read Jeremiah 23. He's telling y'all to do the Daniel fast. Do you look like you living in Babylon? If you want to follow somebody, you follow my prophet, my Lord and Savior, my Messiah, my shepherd, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. All right? Now, a lot of y'all are fasting. Don't you know spirits may come to you and tempt you to do wrong? You might not be focusing right because you have eight, three, you look like you're hallucinating. No, you're in a spiritual realm. You're repenting for your sin, so you're consecrated. You're set apart. You're made holy. So if you read the fourth chapter uh, of, um, no, we're going to back it up. We're going to back it up. Let's start on St. Matthew, the third chapter. And we're going to start with um, the 13th verse with John the Baptist, Jesus Christ's first cousin, the, the Baptist and the prophet together. Then comes Jesus from Galilee to Jordan and to John to be baptized of him. That means emerging that water. But John forbade him saying, I have need to baptize of thee and come thou to me. See, he knew that Jesus had the power of the Holy Ghost and the fire and signs, miracles, wonders, and he knew that he was greater than him. And Jesus answered and said to him, Suffer it be so now, for thus it becomes us to fulfill all his righteousness. So he knew that he would fulfill scripture. So all you prophets of 2022 and prophetess, we're supposed to fulfill scriptures. All right, and Jesus when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were open and attend him. It didn't say one heaven. So whatever you look up in the sky, that's one heaven. Once you go where the planets are, non-planets, that's a second heaven. Third heaven is actually where God is, and Jesus Christ is. All right, it says, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were open unto him. And he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. That's right. Jesus Christ doing the Lord's will. He know that he had to die. He know he had to be killed by the white man. He know that he's betrayed by the Hebrew Israelites. All right. Now, the fourth chapter, it says, then was Jesus led up of the spirit. There's a lot of y'all saying your little spirit, you don't got no Holy Ghost. You don't repent for your sins. We don't see the fruits of the spirit. We see carnal, worldly, demons. All right. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. When he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was as word hungry. If you have never fasted, your head may hurt. Your stomach might hurt. Your stomach might growl where everybody can hear it because you're never fasted for. Fasting in the natural is starving yourself because your body needs food to live. Without food and water, you would die. Okay? So don't commit suicide. Make sure you repent for your sins. Make sure you have the Holy Ghost before your pastor command, command you to commit suicide. And you die and go to hell and burn a list of fire brimstones while he makes a lot of money preaching out of your funeral to tell lies. And also your family will have your house, your car, your clothes, your jewelry, and somebody else be married to your wife. She probably has somebody else in line already. 